Here we are here now with a 75 uh, dash three Kubota SVL installing the bigger light here. Now what you gotta do here is you gotta take out these bolts here and out here and on there and then and then, then take these bolts out. This whole thing comes down here. Then you have to take this plate out the way so you can move this thing out here and then the plugs are here in the back there now. What we have here is a plug and play system, but if you talk to the dealership, they're not really sure how to do it either. So what I discovered is there's a little grommet here right next in here right here. And then the grommet, you pull that grommet out, it look like this. And that thing is in here like this, right here. And you put it in that hole. But this connects to this. So this guy goes here, and this guy goes in here. You pull through that grommet, you just pull it right through this hole right here like this. And then it goes back in this hole here like that. And then these two here hook up like this. But you gotta take off that outside light first so that you can pull through the wires here now. And then that, uh, that there, then their dinghy would be in there, putting in that, this thing here, and then that would go on the roof there, and the light would go flashy, flashy. All right, so now I got these wires plugged in here like so, and then I'm gonna feed this thing here back through this hole here like this, and put that in there like this. And come on in there, get in that motherfucker, there we go. Now I'll pull it back into here. <laughs> now it's all seeded up there, see, like that, so the bees don't get in and kill you when you're out there brush cutting. And then I'll come over here and there's a button here, now I push this button, the light comes on, and look, it's flashing. Now you're safe. Thanks for watching, Rick Longcare here installing an SVL S75-3 uh, beacon light kit through the back of there to, to the roof now. Have a great day.